Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we are going to show you how to create fire and smoke portal that was obviously inspired by the movie Avengers. When you open the file you will notice that we already have a Thoros that's animated by using a noise modifier. It's going to be used for smoke and temperature source. First we are going to create the film effects grid from the film effects toolbar and we're going to set spacing to 0.3 width to 200 length 150 and height 130 we will want all our smoke and temperature to convert to one single point in distance and for this purpose we're going to create a film effects gravity when you create it make sure that its type is set to point we're going to set its position so it's centered to the torus and location is 94 0 by 47. For a torus to emit smoke we have to use the object source. You can create it from the FumeFX toolbar and from the FumeFX object and sources dialog we need to add it from the scene. The object source is going to use noise maps for the temperature and velocity submission. If you open material editor you will notice that there are already velocity map and the temperature map. Those two maps are different noise types because for the temperature we don't want uh, the temperature channel to be emitted all over the torus but only on sporadic places. It's important to note that both noises have the phase animated so the noise is moving all across the surface. For the emission we have fuel disabled, oxygen disabled, for the temperature amount is set to 300 and we're going to use the temperature emission map by the intensity. Smoke map will be disabled and value is set to 3.0. For the color we'll leave it disabled and for the velocities we'll set normal velocity strength 3.0 and we're going to use the velocity map by its intensity. For the turbulence we're going to set amount to 1.0 and we're going to use scale 5.0. We'll leave frames at 3.0. We are going to set up the turbulence noise inside the film effects volume. So the strength for the overall noise is going to be pretty low, it's 0.04. Later on we are going to use a factor to increase the turbulence of the noise around the torus only. So for this purpose we need to use the film effects effector and we are going to position it similar as we did for the gravity. It's going to be centered on the torus with the position of 53, 0 and 47. The effector that we have just created is very important for the simulation. Its size, position and parameters will have crucial role on the smoke shape and motion around the torus. Make sure that the effector diameter is set to 90 and height to 10. We are going to assign a name to this effector and it's going to be a turb for turbulence. You will see that there are several options for the out output type and we are going to set it to multiply and vector of 4, 4 and 4. That's because the, our noise is a vector, so we are going to multiply 0.04 by 4. So assign the effector name to the turbulence and we are ready to go. We are going to adjust the turbulence noise scale to 5, we will leave frames to 10, but increase detail to 4. We will uncheck the simulate fuel as we are not going to use it in this simulation. For the smoke, we are going to change dissipation minimum density 
we'll set to a little bit higher value to 10 so all the smoke in the grid gets dissipated with a dissipation strength of 11. For the temperature we're not going to use it except for the black body shader so we we'll set the temperature buoyancy to 0.0, .0 so the smoke doesn't rise. We're going to set the special minimum temperature to a higher value than what we expect in the grid, so all the temperature gets dissipated. So we'll use value of 600 for the minimum temperature and dissipation strength of 10. As we're simulating temperature and using ladder with the black body shader, we have to set export the channels and add temperature. We're also going to need to change the output end frame to 150 and don't forget to change the playback end range to 150 as well. Since we are using a point gravity, we have to adjust the gravity strength inside the film effects. That's because the point gravity strength falls rapidly with the distance, actually with the distance squared. So the influence of the gravity on the torus is very, very small at this distance. So the value of 1000 or even more will be sufficient to make the smoke move. Once we're done with setting our parameters, we're ready to start the simulation and see the final result. Simulation can be started from the Fume FX dialog or from the Fume FX toolbar. Once the simulation is done, make sure to have the GPU viewport display enabled inside your Fume FX UI. If you scribe the timeline, you will see a GPU shaded smoke inside your viewport. Just something to note that the portal in our video on YouTube was using a grid spacing of 0. 1.5. At this point, we can proceed and set up the film effects shader parameters. For the fire, we're going to use gradient temperature that we've simulated and saved to your caches. And for the gradient, please load the gradient that's included in the zip file with this scene. For the smoke, we're going to use the keyless mode and just use one key for a darker smoke. We'll also have to adjust, adjust a little bit of the smoke black body shader temperature to 5000 and adjust the smoke opacity, lower it a bit to 8.0 and make sure that you have cast and receive shadows enabled. We'll set the sharpening strength to 1.0 to get a little bit more sharper smoke. We have finished the shader primer setup, so let's take a look how the rendering looks like. In this tutorial for the scanline render, we've used the temperature map for the fire emission using the black body shader. And we're going to need, of course, multiple scattering for, for a better result. Set maximum depth 10, fire strength to 80, we don't want any smoke to emit, scattering so 0 and fall off to 20. Ok, let's see how the rendering looks now. You can see a little bit more glow from the black body shader, you can play with the settings to get different results. And now on to Arnold. When using Arnold Renderer you can disable multiple scattering and illumination map because it's not used. Make sure to switch to the Arnold Renderer from the Renderer dropbox. And for this scene you can open the material editor as we already have provided the Arnold standard volume with the parameters for film. You have to assign it to the film effects grid like you would to any object. And inside the film effects you have to change the film effects Arnold volume. We're going to use smoke, not fire, but we're going to use temperature for the black body emission. And of course we 
always like to use the sharpened string for the smoke. With Terminal Renderer we, we want a little bit more internal volume bounces, so we need to increase the ray depth for the volume indirect samples. Value of 2 or 3 will be quite enough for this scene and adjust the anti-aliasing samples that you like. We have the preview enabled so we can see right away how the rendering is going to look when it's final. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and ask your questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.